What's up guys, Takedown here, and in this video, I'm going to share 10 things about me, mostly that you don't know. Some of it you will if you've been watching videos recently, but I thought it's about time that I make a 10 things about me video. So let's just get right into it. Number one, I am Canadian. I think it is important uh, as a YouTuber, as somebody that makes videos, to share where I am from with you guys, just so you guys get a little bit more of an understanding. So I am Canadian, I live in Canada, I live about 45 minutes from Ottawa, if you're trying to get into downtown Ottawa, um, try an hour and a half. We are, Ottawa is the capital of Canada, so whenever people say where you're from, I usually say I'm from Ottawa, or I'm a, near Ottawa, because I'm a small town that not too many people have heard of, or really know. Um, I still live at home, hopefully I will change that Either this year or next, one thing I really have to do is either get a job, plan a career, a better job would be nice, and of course get a vehicle and then I can really put forward what I want to do, where I want to live, and start the ball rolling. Number two, I'm into superheroes. I love comic books, superhero movies, that type of thing. Of course, The Incredible Hulk is one of my favorite superheroes, also like Iron Man, Deadpool, a little bit of Spider-Man. Um, Transformers, of course, that's something really big for my childhood. Guardians of the Galaxy, I don't know what it is, but I just love the comic books, the characters, um, being good in the world, so that's something you guys are going to see more of on the channel, hopefully soon, I'm not sure, not 100% sure, but I'm going to be sharing a little bit more of my comic books um, with you guys, and maybe I'll make some more talk videos about superheroes and such in the future. But yeah, that's my number two. Number three is movies. I love comedy, action movies. That's what I really love. I honestly hate horror movies. I don't like horror movies at all. Not that I think they're scary, I just think they're extremely boring. But I'm more into comedy and action packed movies. Um, love Fast and the Furious, the whole franchise. Just watched watched um fate of the furious the other day amazing kind of like the direction they're going with the franchise um also like the transformers franchise i'm looking for the complete five dvd set right now of course guardians of the galaxy um drastic park i know in the 2018 there's going to be another one come out but i just like these uh these ones especially from when i was a kid like um Fast and the Furious and Jurassic Park, how they're still making movies today. I find that's uh, amazing. It's almost, I think it's, yeah, I think it's almost uh, 20 years for Fast and the Furious. But uh, yeah, those are the type of movies I like. That's the genres I like. I'm more into comedy now too. A um, whole bunch, too many to list. But uh, yeah, that is my number three. Number four is music. I love music, listen to music almost every day, every chance I get, um, especially after high school, what I've transitioned into has been alternative music, the Linkin Parks, which is something I listened to for years since I was a kid anyways, but I listen to a lot of Linkin Park, um, some 41, which is actually the name of the band, Blink-182, of course, but I still listen to the old stuff, um, my rap that I used to listen to when I was in high school, Eminem, even his current stuff. Eminem and Linkin Park are probably my two favorite artists. I've said that a few times and I'm saying it again. Eminem, I love his rap style. Linkin Park, I love their alternative style. Um, not the same genre, but it is what it is. I like them. I also like some rock and roll. Um, old stuff like Aerosmith and Guns N' Roses, they'd have to be my two top rock and roll bands. Um... Both I like equally as good. I even listen to some 21 Pilots, um, some other bands like that. Some My Chemical Romance here and there. Um, not really Simple Plan or anything like that. But those are some music, um, some bands that I listen to, some of the music that I love. Listen to it any chance I get. If I'm on lunch at work, if I'm at home editing videos or um, gaming and I just want to listen to some music, I will put it on. So music is a huge, huge part of my life. So number five is kind of my favorite foods. So I love homemade food, especially I eat at home a lot. I don't eat out too much, but 
Uh, my favorite foods at home would be homemade mac and cheese or homemade chicken wraps. As long as I have all the ingredients, I will go and make it. Of course, making burgers and stuff like that too. I do occasionally eat out though. Um, I My favorite restaurants, in my opinion, are good restaurants, are kind of healthier than your average McDonald's or anything like that. And that is, number one would be Subway. That would be my top restaurant. If there's anything I had to choose, I would choose Subway. Spicy Italian footlongs, honestly, the best. I will put ha jalapenos and uh, the works on them. So that's that's kind of what I like. I also like casadas, which I know they're not everywhere, but it's more like a restaurant, um, Mexican restaurant, burritos and such. I don't go there often, but when I do, if I'm just going in for a burrito or whatever, once in a while I'll go in. Um, and other than that, I will go to McDonald's once in a while. And just get a chicken wrap. I don't like their burgers. I don't like stuff like that. I might get a fry once in the blue moon. A drink when it's a dollar in the summer. But uh, I don't eat out that much. A lot of people would think that I might. But I really don't eat it. I eat at home more than anything. I like to cook and make my own stuff. Number six is my favorite video games. The video games I play or could play daily, weekly, uh, whatever. Um, number one would be open world games such as Fallout 4, Need for Speed. Even though it's racing and there's different quests, you can go and do your own thing in Need for Speed. So I consider that open world. You can go and purchase cars, customize them, do whatever you want to do in it. Consider that open world. Um, South Park, even though there's quests in that, you can kind of go and do your own thing as well. So I consider that open world. So those right now would be my top three games. Um, I don't play as much Fallout 4 as I would like. I play more South Park. Need for Speed, I've been playing the crap out of lately. Other than that, I like sports games. So WWE, I've been playing a lot of. UFC, not as much. And then the top sports game would be NHL 18. Of course, I'm a hockey fan. I love hockey. Those are kind of the top games I've been playing right now. Of course, I'm still into Battlefield 1. I just don't play it often because I always have these other games that I'm into more. Number seven is that I love art. Especially tattoo designs, stuff like that, of course, with my thumbnails and trying to design them a little bit better as well. I used to draw a lot of skulls and tattoo designs in high school. That's kind of what I um, went into and uh, got driven into awards. I just liked uh, the tattoo designs. Someday I will get tattoos. Not sure what I want yet, so that's why I haven't gotten anything. But I just love that kind of art um, stuff, trying to design your own own artwork especially when I've already tried designing t-shirts already tried designing thumbnails which is what I do now and uh, yeah so that's that's pretty much it that's that's my number seven I love art so that's something you guys probably didn't know about me and now you do number eight would be that I love cars cars have always been a part of my life I'm always at least if I'm off work and they're relatively uh, not that far away I will go to a car show I love cars in general a lot of uh, 1970s Mustangs so Chevelle SS's um, done right Camaros Mustangs that sort of thing Chargers Challengers um, even as far as 1950s Mercury if you have a custom Mercury coupe lowered um, custom parts the whole works I'm just in love and I can honestly talk about cars for a while if I could if I had the chance maybe in a future video I will but um, someday I plan on having a huge car collection as you guys know I collect things that is me that is who I am and that's what I love to do so hopefully in the future maybe maybe but I'm a huge car guy now I can't go and say this car is supposed to have this and this much horsepower and this engine's the original. I can't do all that, but I love mostly the design of cars, but everything about cars pretty much. Number nine, if it hasn't already been obvious that you guys have been, you guys have been seeing a little bit on the channel is that I love to collect things. I have some collections that I'm not really going to show because there's no purpose behind it, such as uh old coins, uh, silver dollars and such, some of the really old stuff, I do have some of that. I also have been collecting CDs, which you guys seen earlier, or a couple videos ago I made uh, made and uploaded that. 
I have my comic book collection, my hockey card collection, which I'm still growing. I'm still getting hockey cards and sharing all that stuff with you guys, which I like to share my collection with you guys because a lot of you guys are enjoying that. I'm enjoying it. Why not make videos that you enjoy doing? But uh, I think I'll probably always collect. I just love the feeling of having stuff that not too many people have or having a relatively good collection at a relatively good price. Um, it's always enjoying and I just enjoy doing it, building my collection, growing my collection over the years and uh, that's me. That's what I love doing now. And finally, number 10, my top YouTubers or at least my favorite YouTubers, the ones I watch the most almost daily or when they upload. Number one is a group in Canada, Team Albo um, is what the whole group as a whole, they all have individual channels, um, do kind of their own thing, different things, ventured out into gaming as well recently, well maybe a year ago. Starting with David Parody, he is one of my favorite, he's the funniest. Then you have Wolfie, who I haven't been watching a lot of lately, Chad with the J, Bongo, Ryan Swayze, um, DJ's in Toronto now, so I haven't been up to date with him. Um, should be, but I haven't been. Um, I am missing a few, I know it. It's your boy, I've been watching him. He's really good. Um, I know I'm missing one or two, I'm sorry about that. I also watch David Dobrik, um, his whole group. So, The Gabby Show, Heath, Zane, um, Toddy, not too much. I haven't been watching much of Toddy. I'm not into his style of videos. Mostly Heath. Um, Scotty, Jason. I don't, much, I don't watch much of Eliza. Outside of that, I watch um, GMM, Good Mythical Morning. I've been not liking the new season because it's really choppy and the videos are faster and you don't get to see the real them. I think it's more of a show now. Um... Boogie2988, he is probably one of the most controversial and real uh, YouTubers. He'll talk about stuff that YouTube doesn't want him talking about and stuff about the company. But also everything he says is 99.9% uh, right and it has the same opinion as me. So that's why I like him so much. If you don't know who he is, you probably know him by his Francis Rage videos that he used to do. He doesn't do them as much anymore, but he still does them because he feels, even though YouTube doesn't want them on YouTube anymore... He feels he should be putting them out there for people. He doesn't make no money off them anymore, though. Um, smaller YouTubers that I watch. Ultimate Gamer Girls. They're probably one of my hugest supporters. Always commenting, liking, um, supporting my channel. And recently, I've uh, been getting into hockey cards. So, David Vlogs. He's a Canadian. I don't know if it's Windsor or where he is in Canada. But I've been watching a lot of his stuff. So, shout out to those two smaller channels. But that is... Some of the stuff that I watch um, on YouTube daily. I also use YouTube for music, though. Not gaming content, mostly music. Um, and all the people that I just mentioned, I watch them daily. This has been 10 Things About Me. Honestly, I was going to put this as one of the points, but I, I the 10 I chose were probably the best 10 I could put out there for you guys. A lot of it's stuff you guys didn't know. Some of it you did about collecting and that stuff you've been seeing more and more on the channel recently. That's what I enjoy doing. But something I could have put on uh, one of the points was I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy the community. I enjoy editing. I enjoy starting a schedule. I enjoy making the thumbnails now. I enjoy, since I rebranded, the direction the channel's going, the views are going up, not making money off it, one day. Steps. You got to do baby steps if you're going to do stuff like this. You got to come up with your own ideas. You got to uh, do stuff you enjoy, and um, that's, the, that's the biggest thing. If you make stuff you enjoy, I used to make just gaming channel before, um, people started to lose interest in it, and since I evolved into what I do now, putting my face on the channel, uh, expressing myself, sharing my views, sharing my interests. I've been getting a lot more positive feedback. Join Facebook groups for YouTubers, um, Reddit groups, asking questions, answering other people's questions. So it's a great community and I'm glad I'm a part of it. Um, getting on the schedule, a YouTube schedule, harder, but now that my hours are cut at work, I can kind of do it more, and I've been gaining more subscribers this way. 
which I am really happy about. I've been gaining more comments, more views, which I'm really happy about. Um, and where my monthly goal was before, I would just hit my monthly goal at the end of the month. Now I'm hitting my monthly goal in the first two weeks, uh, which is amazing that I'm doing it so far ahead. But I'm glad you guys are here in this journey. I'm glad I get to share all this stuff with you guys. And I hope you guys uh, liked this video. If you did, comment down below what you thought was the best um, point or if we have any similar similarities or differences or if you have any interests in anything that I just mentioned um, within the, the 10 things about me. I'll see you guys in the future. I have a lot more stuff to make and I have a lot more stuff to show you guys. And I will see you around. Take care and leave a like if you want. Um, it will let me know you guys like this style of videos and more videos like this. But I'll see you around. Peace.